Hey, how are we doing today, guys? So, you guys know that I normally don't take printers apart, but I've seen this girl and picked her up, and it was as heavy as a computer tower. Look at that transformer in there. Decent chips, too. Um, yeah. When I seen how heavy it was, I had to. So, we'll go ahead and take her apart and pull that out. Just for kicks. So, this week has been very busy as far as junk removal. So, uh, I did end up with this plotter today. Plotter printer. I don't know. I've never taken one of these apart. So I'm going to pull this end off and see if there's anything interesting inside. Uh, a few pans. There's an old lamp in here. These are normally uh, die cast. Pretty heavy. That guy right there is two pounds in himself. Got that today. Got some wood. But it's all pine, so we can only use it outside for uh, bonfires. They say uh, if you put them in your, use them in the house, it builds soot up. Uh, it builds pine tar up your chimney and it can catch fire. So, got these guys yesterday. Had a house clean out. The two ACs and fridge and stove got this guy earlier today the ACs this bigger one it looked well when it was in the window it actually looked like it was in good condition when it had the front on it and everything um, but they sealed it with that uh, that blow-in insulation stuff and we went to uh, try and get it off of there and on top there was a wasp nest top of the window <clears throat> so when we did finally get it loosened up we just let it drop neither one of us wanted to wrestle with a uh, uh, bunch of wasps uh, I got this nice treadmill motor uh, problem was it was dead so I, I don't know what happened power surge or what but couldn't get it turned on at that battery now, just about got her filled up, guys. I just now closed the door on it so I could pack this end of it. But it took me, uh, took about a month, just over a month to get her loaded. It's my load going in in the morning for trash. But the dumpster holds three and a half trailers. So I'm guessing I've got somewhere between eight and 10,000 pounds in there. Little wall art. So, uh, I try to get a little metal out here still. Old fashioned mailbox. <clears throat> no good for postcards though. Can't get your hand down in there. Let's see here real quick I'm gonna show you so yeah the front part of this was packed in a lot tighter than the back part I had time to do that where uh, the rest of it not so much <laughs> and see this that's an exhaust and where we found that was one of the houses they had that sitting in the fireplace and a fan hooked up to one of the ends. And so they were building fires and blowing heat out of the fireplace. I thought it was pretty, pretty genius. Of course, probably not so much on the safe side, but you know how that goes. Ow. And I got this today. I don't know what it is, whether it's tape or just vinyl or what 
but I'll check it out later. Got this nice pipe. So, uh, let's see, tires. I got, these aren't new, but they're pretty daggone close. Let's see if I can work out a deal with the used tire guy. Because I seem to get tires like this a couple times a month. I've got two or three brand new ones sitting back here. And, I mean, I don't want to pay to dispose of them if I can get something for them, you know. And then uh, our first load today, this guy was throwing this out. I figure I'll take a wire wheel to it and, uh, I don't know, spray paint it black or something. But that has been my week, guys. A little bit of aluminum this week, not much. And then, uh, let's see, back where we started from. That's pretty much all the wires I've got in the last uh, three days. And this is my e-waste for this week. Kind of a slow week for e-waste. I did get plasma. So, it's been a while. I love taking these things apart. And hopefully, I'll take you guys along for a ride with that. Um... Still got the spectrophotometer stuff to go through. And that's from a... From that treadmill. Oh, forgot what I was talking about here. And then, uh... Janie and I got in discussion on Facebook about the potentiometers. So, guys, a lot of times you'll find a piece of gold in these. Well, go play, you know. Um, but see, I've gotten to the point now, I, I normally only take them apart, the higher end ones. But Janie's right, you can find them in the cheaper stuff also. Besides, who's going to argue with Janie, right? Um, but that's it, guys. I uh, I've already made this video... The second time I'm just I'm beat up and very very tired uh, I've been getting up and getting to work work a couple hours on the computer hit the road get home 6 30 7 o'clock at night eat and watch uh, one or two hours of TV and then my son calls or doesn't call i gotta pick him up 10 45 each night go pick him up and then lately i've been uh going to the gym and working out for an hour after i drop him off getting home at one in the morning and doing it all over again so I'm trying to get in shape before the uh, holidays come thanksgiving is never nice to me so that's it I'll, uh, I'll try and get another video out this weekend. Uh, it looks like tomorrow's going to be a short day. So I'll be home to uh, take care of a little bit of stuff. And then uh, maybe I'll make a video. So Mama's here. I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Mike's out.